we've just filled in some screw holes on the back of our doors where ply lining used to be and because on the inside of our van we're going to be leaving this gloss white I didn't want to see a load of random screw holes all over the place so I filled them in using some filler I've just sanded them given them a coat of primer and I'm going to be using whey, this Tigris gloss white. It's been the closest I can find to the van's original colour. Make a note of that, Tigris gloss white. Anyway, that's not what this vlog's about. So uh, let's roll the introduction and I'll uh, catch you on the other side. Let's go tidy up first. Do catch our channel at Van Life My Way to follow this conversion of our Citroen Relay into our off-grid mobile home. Find us also on Facebook at My Way Adventure and communicate with our growing network of van lifers and overlanders. <sighs> right guys, this is a portable power pack. We've all seen them. This is a Jackery. There are other brands on the market. I do see many people ask on Facebook, are these suitable for powering up your van? And the simple answer to that is yes, they are. They're great. Look at it. It's a handy little unit with everything you need in there. It contains your lithium ion battery. It's got in there an inverter for any AC powered goods that you want. You can charge it via your car through the DC to DC ports. You can charge it by the mains from home or you can charge it by solar. There are many different power packs like these of varying different sizes so if you find one that will suit your van lifestyle go ahead buy one they're great the downside is is that they are more expensive than buying separates but not more expensive than getting somebody else to install those separates for you so if you're not confident to install your own system you can't beat buying a power pack and it could even save you money also on the plus point, look at the size of it. It's compact. You can put it anywhere in your van, so therefore you can save some space as well. And finally, it's in the name, it's portable. You can take it anywhere. You can take it camping, take it on a picnic, put it on a boat, put it in your house, put it anywhere. It's great. So portable power packs, they are great. And if you think you've got need for one, buy one. Now, if you couldn't purchase a portable power pack, it's likely you bought with it one or two, if not several, of these portable solar panels. They often come as a bundle at a reduced price, and there's no better way of getting cheap power into your portable power pack. However, when your power pack is fully charged, these portable solar panels are often packed away for long periods of time, rendering them useless. Or are they? So what I've decided to do, using my portable solar panels, is link them up to this, a Renogy portable MPPT solar controller. With up to 200 watts of additional solar power available, it made perfect sense to be able to supplement my van solar system when days may be short or dull and we're finding ourselves lacking in power. Having two solar panels idle made no sense, and seeing a Renogy MPPT solar controller on offer on Facebook gave me an idea. So this one here was on offer from Renogy, a 20 amp solar controller. I think it was less than 80 quid. And my idea is to use this with the Jackery folding cells for any type of emergency that I may have. If I have a system go down, I can use my portable power. If my van battery goes flat, I can use my portable power to charge it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my two solar cells to generate more power. So I'd saved this a while ago from being thrown out by Nikki. I thought, that's a good strong plastic box. It's pretty useful. Nikki said, chuck it away, it's bloody junk, it's rubbish. And I thought, you know what, no, I'm gonna hang on to that. And it's a good job I did, because I realised that this solar unit can fit into there. So what I've done is I've cut out another piece of ply board, I've varnished it, and I'm going to mount that Renogy solar controller to the plywood and store it all inside this box for when I need to use it. If ever I'm linked to shore power, I've always got my Blue Smart charger from Victron to charge all of my house batteries or my van batteries if I need to. When you buy the Victron, it comes with a socket that you mount to your battery, and that's a female socket for the male end on the charger to plug into and charge the battery. Now I've got quite a few batteries, so I need more of these, and you can buy these as individual units. So it made sense that if I'm making a portable power pack from solar, to use the same ends to actually plug into my batteries to charge them up. However, Victron don't do this male end of the charge unit as a spare or separate. Or do they? Because what you can do is you can buy it in the extension cable. 
Now the extension cable for me is going to kill two birds with one stone. By buying two or three of these, I've got all the female ends that I need to put on all of my batteries and the male ends that I need to put on my charge control system. So when you receive a Jackery unit, you get one of these. This is called a quick disconnect. And what we can do is mimic this quick disconnect in order for me to link my two Jackery solar cells to my Renergy unit. The input and output wires were attached to the Renergy unit with recommended fuses and neatly secured to all fit inside a dedicated box. I now have very useful portable solar power that can link to support all my van systems or use remotely whenever needed. that managed to get it all finished while you guys were watching that video that's all those holes filled in and sprayed and I'm really really pleased with that anyway if you enjoyed that vlog please remember to give us the thumbs up because that tells me that perhaps I'm doing the right thing here and giving you guys all the right information that you're interested in but also it means that the algorithm works and that information gets out to more people so I'd really appreciate that and maybe somebody else would appreciate it too so thank you for watching I look forward to catching up with you guys soon on the next vlog look forward to seeing you then Bye. Oh, I've done a good job of that, I like that. It allows you to link two folding. It allows you to link two. <laughs>